Alrighty, for this video we're going to go over how to make a shop from scratch and to create a NPC as a shop owner and to use multi-level tokens to create a waypoint into a shop, get whatever you need to get, and then teleport out of the shop back onto the map all in one. So starting with first we're going to create a scene. So I have just the village Barovia up here. I'm going to go to E1 to get a Bill Dress Mercantile. So um, I already have his name done, so we'll create a scene, uh, load the image, which is right here, and got to configure the image, so, uh, whoops, one too many zeros, so five feet, uh, square, make sure that's in there, click OK, yep, and then I'm going to configure the scene to make sure that it's uh, the grid, everything lines up right, and it's moderately close. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, looks good to me. All right, so now we're going to draw the map, put all the walls up, and go from there. So let's get some doors real quick. So door and door, another door, and that should be it. So this one here. Okay. Uh, so I also I really like some of the drawing tools for Foundry. Uh, there's some stuff that I did like a little bit more on Fantasy Grounds, like especially being able to do terrain, I think is easier. But uh, there's definitely some things on Foundry that are pretty nice. And I like uh, I like the different variations with the windows and things like that. And the way you can create secret doors, I think, is, is significantly better on Foundry than it is on Fantasy Grounds. But uh, there are at least two totally different programs. But I'm really, really digging Foundry. So... All right, so once I get the last couple walls finished, then we will create our uh, we'll create our points in and out, and then we'll go over how to make a shop. Okay, it's almost done. All right, and if you hold Control on one of your bubbles, it'll just continue to extend, and that way you don't have to keep going back and forth, right click, and doing everything every couple every couple seconds, and it makes it a little bit easier. All right, I think that should be the last of the walls. But yeah, that's on there, good. Okay, and all right, perfect. So shop's pretty much done. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some terrain walls for this right here. So this will kind of create like the, uh, something that they can't climb over. They can still pretty much see behind, but it'll uh, at least make it a little bit more of a difficult uh, terrain. And uh, I also am going to do this cart out here as well, which just kind of helps with the aesthetic in case someone wants to kind of like walk around and, you know, be a little adventurous. And that way it, you know, shows that you put that little bit extra effort when you made your scene. Okay, so that's it for the shop. So now what we're going to do, so uh, to, just to show you what modules and everything that you're going to need for this. So the two most important ones are going to be the multi-level tokens. So this is how we're going to create our teleport, po teleport points. And then you're also going to need the uh, loot NPCs right here, the um, 5e one, not my share companion. Okay, so that's the only two modules you need. Um, one thing you do actually have to configure in the loot NPCs is it's going to default to convert the currency. So this is going to be checked. So I hate this personally because what it does is it changes all of it to platinum. But it's it's really weird because even if something costs silver or costs gold, it's going to move all of your currency to platinum. Even if you had zero platinum, it's going to say, all right, now you got 300. So do not like it. I turn it off. And then after that, you usually you're good. So uh, that's the only thing that you usually have to change is to turn that off, and then it leaves your leaves your gold the same, and or leaves all your currency the same. So uh, that's it on that. So now uh, we're going to create our waypoints. So what I usually do is I'll create two squares. So I'll do one square kind of near the entrance, and then I'll do a second square kind of near the back, uh, kind of like it'd be like them walking away from the shop. So for the first square. Uh, this is going to be how they come into the shop. So uh, it's going to be a little backwards. So um, I, I usually just type like shop. Um, and then it's going to say um, I'll do uh, Bill Dress Mercantile. Uh, this is going to be the out point. But uh, when you're in, when, it's, when you're first creating it, 
So whichever side you start on, you have to make sure that it says activate via math note. So uh, it's, it's a little different on this one than in my previous video. So, but you'll see how it works here in just a second. So you're gonna make this point to the shop is the out point. And that's all you have to do on that. And then I don't like how that switched back to a thing. Okay, and then so click update. So then there's my shop. And then once you have that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your second point. Um, and you're gonna do here. So we're gonna do here. And actually before that, so I don't have to keep copy and paste and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you how to use a journal entry with the that one extra box you have to check check for uh, to create a math note. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a journal entry. So I just have a folder that I named teleport points, and so uh, I will create one, and so then I'll just name it, and I'll just do build dress mercantile, create an entry, and then uh, I'll just do uh, teleport to. And then control V. It doesn't have to be this exact thing, um, but this is just typically what I do, but it does, it does not matter, honestly. Okay, so that's going to create your, your waypoint. And then what we're going to do, another one, we're going to create another entry point that's going to send us back to, uh, back to the village of Barovia. So what I usually do, the second one, I'll just do sometimes, I'll just do something simple, like um, I'll do like B2 Barovia, and then that way it's like just back to Barovia uh, and then just something easy simple to remember and then uh, I'll just do teleport B to Barovia alright and then that's all I'll do for that and then you're good so let me make sure that this one is now set up for an endpoint so now we're gonna do in and then this is gonna be back to Barovia and all that looks good. Um, B to B, okay, and update. Okay, so that's all you do there. And then, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this uh, journal entry. So I have my back to Barovia entry and I'm gonna put it right here on the map. And I'll usually reduce the size of the, the book. Uh, it can only go as small as 32. And then the font, I usually just make it a little bit smaller so that way it doesn't take up a ton of your ton of your screen. Okay, so that's all you're going to do on the shop besides the shopkeeper, which we'll come back to that after we, we create the teleport uh, points. Okay, so now you're going to go to your Village Barovia map, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make a uh, box that's going to go onto your shop, uh, because since we already did some of the work, it'll make it a little bit faster. So... You'll do your uh, point. So we're going to do build dress mercantile. This is going to be the entrance point, and you got to make sure that that activate via math node is is checked. Otherwise, this this won't work this way. So then you click update, and then now that you have your build dress mercantile made, then you can actually add the math note to it, and then put it on the put it on the map. And I keep hitting twenty one. Okay, twenty four, and update. Okay, now you're going to create one last box outside of the shop and this will be your uh, your back to Barovia and then so we'll do here we'll do uh, B2B whoops and then B2B and then I still can't capitalize okay multi-level it's gonna be your out point don't make sure the ends turned off and then we'll do uh, B2 Barovia it has to be the same everything otherwise it won't work alright so now update done so now you have your entry point your exit point on both sides so now we're going to get a player token put them on the map so that they can teleport into the shop out of the shop and you can see how it works okay so we got a player character so she comes up and she's like oh I need to go do some shopping so then she can come up to here uh, another thing I forgot to mention so when you're in the journal entries you need to uh, Make sure you go to both both entries that you're going to create a waypoint, and you need to right-click, configure permissions, and you have to give your players uh, observer permission. That way, they can actually see it on their screen. Otherwise, it won't pop up. So, click observer, observer, and then you have to make sure that the map points are viewable. So, uh, if they're not showing up at all, then they'll just be hidden. So, you'll go down to journal notes. Make sure you just click this little uh, purple purple toggle 
uh, it says toggle notes display and then it'll pop up okay so now that uh, she that's up there she'll be able to click on the book as soon as she clicks on the book it will teleport her to bill dress mercantile and then she's out here in the shop and then she can go in and get whatever she needs you know go and do some shopping and then as soon as she's done she can come out to the back and then click on the note and it'll take her back to the village of Barovia she's back out on the street and now she can go back to doing to whatever she was doing so now we're gonna go and create a, a merchant so that way she can actually do some shopping so uh, I usually just typically use like a commoner just to, to make it a little bit easier uh, so we'll go to the SRD we'll do commoner and do 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 ba doop and I, I am personally not a fan I do not like top-down tokens uh, I know some people just love them but uh, I'm personally not a fan uh, so we're gonna get this guy's uh, we're gonna get this guy's token because I like the way this one looks okay so copy and paste do 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 ba doop Okay, and we're gonna change your token with this guy here. Whoops, wrong button. Control V. Okay, and got that. And uh, of course, hit the wrong one, but that's all right. Control V, and we're gonna do. Uh, and we got Bill Draft. Whoops, Bill Draft. Okay. All right, so and then he's going to be friendly and update. All right, perfect. So now we're actually going to use the NPC sheet. So uh, when you pull him up, uh, you're going to go to where it says sheet up at the top, and you're going to change him to a loot NPC and then save configuration. So when he's in here, he's going to uh, initially show up as loot. Uh, it's going to default to that, switch him over to merchant, and he will... Uh, and you have to make sure you toggle permissions for your characters to be able to actually get stuff from him. And then, so then you can add whatever you want. Some things are very specific, like it'll say, okay, they have everything that's available, you know, in the player handbook, uh, in certain, certain channels, whatever that. But we're just going to throw, you know, just a couple things on him just, uh, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, and then let's do, uh, we'll do a battle axe, and we'll do a set of uh, playing cards. Um, and then let's do uh, let's do a container. So let's do a bag, and then we'll do uh, we'll do just uh, we'll we'll say he's super super fancy and he's got a bag of holding. Uh, and then let's do um, consumables. We'll do a potion of healing, and do potion of healing, and then you can go into it, and then you can alter the quantity real quick. So that way, so he's got three of them. Um, and then we'll just do, I think, uh, we'll throw a uh, paper, and that way it's got some loot. Okay, so now that he has everything, uh, another nice thing that you can do is you can adjust the price modifier. So, especially with Vildrath here, he is not very nice, and because he's the only shop in town, you're going to buy it because you have no choice. And if you really want something, and you're going to pay the money for it no matter what. So we'll say he's going to charge an extra 25%, and uh, he'll uh, charge just a little bit more. And then uh, it's always good to give them, you know, a decent amount of something. That way, you know, they have you know decent decent chunk of change for them to be able to adjust the currency and everything. So you got merchant, permissions have to be checked. Throw whatever it is you're going to throw into them. You can pre-plan all this stuff out in advance. Um, if you want to get super fancy, you can actually write a background for them, or if they actually have some background in the, like the journal entries and stuff like that, then you can update that. And then as soon as that's done, close him out. And then so we'll go back to our Eldrath here, and then she can go up to him, and then she can pick on him, and then whatever she wants to buy. So I don't think she's got a lot of money on her, so let me give her a little bit of currency. So we'll give her give her a hundred gold pieces that way she's got at least something so all right and then she would go into whatever it is that she's gonna buy and then so she say you know what I want uh, one of those potions of healing and you click buy item and then uh, no I have to oh sorry I don't have her uh, claimed that's my fault 
All right, so let's remove configure permissions. And she is no longer the owner. And owner. And configure release character. And let's see. E E E. And there she is. Elda. Okay. Now, go into here and potion healing. No active character for user. My goodness. Did I not claim her? Configure permissions. Irelda. Save. I'm going to delete this one and re add her. Okay. And make sure she still has gold since I changed it. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see. And buy. Okay, that's just bothering me now. Well, I am not switching back over to player mode right now. So, but that's literally all you got to do. Uh, once once a player is active, uh, then all you got to do is click and buy it. It'll automatically deduct their money. Um, I wish I could show that, but I'm I don't have the time to be able to switch back to it right now. But that's pretty much it in terms of building a shop from scratch, making a making a merchant and you know creating you teleport points to be able to go in and out of a shop uh, and you know once they're once they're done getting whatever it is that they need you just put them right back into right back into town and you can toggle permission so that way you know if they you know keep going back and forth to certain ones so that way uh, you know you can have like this one so that you know all players can activate or, or have access to this map so that way, you know, whenever they go into something, they can always default click right back onto this map, and it'll save you a little bit of time and effort. But just some more things that you can do to automate to to make your life a little bit easier. Because this is this to me is way easier than trying to drag and drop and move things back and forth like how you would have to do like on Fantasy Grounds. So, but that's about it for this video. Uh, if you have any other questions, just uh, send me a message in the comments, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, have a good day.